we are currently um you know participating and part of the phase three trial which is uh called magnitude uh it is a global um multi-center phase three clinical trial that is evaluating um ntla 2001 or its new name which is uh, next z um against placebo for patients with transerythin amyloid cardiomyopathy and um you know we have seen data uh, on ntla uh, 2001 from um a phase one trial that is a sizable phase one trial it's been going on for quite some time and it is not the traditional phase one trial because this is gene editing and so the patients have the disease to already to begin with and as such uh, these patients were dosed with the uh, drug in an open label fashion and showed that the majority of the patients if not all of them as far as we've seen from the data had ttr suppression or knockdown or silencing by more than 90 percent and uh, that's with a single administration regardless of the dose that was chosen and also overall from the data presented you know it seems to be that it's a safe strategy for the short term obviously when you are dosing the drug and so we are excited about this approach. Uh, it does provide another option for us while we treating patients. Um, as you know, we are currently already able to suppress uh, transerythin production by using different silencer medications or knockdown agents. Uh, there are few already approved in the United States. Uh, the second generation one, ones, vitrucerin and eplontorsin, are used a lot more than the original uh, first generation drugs such as uh, Patisiran and inotorsin, and uh, whether the whether the degree of silencing or knockdown essentially is going to influence the outcomes or not, you know, this is part of the reason why this trial is being conducted. So we are very excited about the potential for findings from this trial. Not just the fact that the drug works. I think it's, it's pretty obvious, at least from from the phase one trial, that you know the the, the it's a proof of principle, correct? And then now comes the phase three, which is looking more or less on hard outcomes and what happens to these patients as we go through this process.